how an RBMK reactor core explodes. You'll stay with me until the end. Obviously, when I got the job, I, I don't think anybody had any idea of how, uh, how far it would go, how amazing it would go. I sort of dipped in and out mm -hmm. every now and again. I'd get a knock after two years. Right, you're on. And, uh, and turn up at Leavesden Studios into this amazing uh, place, which, which is always a wonderful experience, really, because you go, oh, there's a great hall, oh, look, there's Snape, I was like a fan. You know, although James, James, you know, I mainly worked with, with uh, Daniel and Geraldine, although I came across, uh, uh, you know, all the other, a few of the other characters, but not many. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like winning the lottery, really. I didn't actually, I didn't. Um, I don't know why that, because apparently she was, she was on set a lot, uh, but I wasn't. <laughs> so we must have gone like that. Um, but I, I have to say, I was very, I was very chuffed that uh, she gave, well, I don't know if it's a coincidence that, that James Potter's birthday is the same, same as mine. Uh, yeah, which is, it's either extremely weird or a very nice gesture of, of uh, J.K. Rowling's, I think. Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. We can linger for a moment to give you some time, but only a moment. Do you understand? It was interesting as it went on and you went through different directors, really. Um, because with Christopher Columbus, the first two films, I think, were, were pitched more as kids' films, really. Um, and then with Alfonso Cuaron in uh, The Prisoner of Azkaban, he, he was more interested in James and Lily being a bit cooler and sort of more of a Camden feel, a bit kind of bohemian. Although that, the, you know, that look, in a sense, in the first film, in The Mirror of Erised, is is Harry's vision, so it's not necessarily the reality as it, as it were. Mom? Dad? You know, it's about, it's about supporting your child. I became a father relatively late and so one, once you're a parent, you completely understand that. You completely understand that, that, that you would do anything uh, if your child was in any, any danger. And that, that really is, you know, what needs to come across, I think, is, is that absolute love and support. You know, that, that was pretty easy with Daniel, actually, because <laughs> he's, he's such a lovely guy and, and uh, yeah, you, you kind of think, yeah, I'd be very, very proud to be his dad. You're nearly there, son. I'm sorry. I never wanted any of you to die for me. I think every project really, you know, the bottom line is the script. If, if that's not if that's not really good, then it doesn't matter what you put, how great the actors are, you know, it comes down to that. And, and almost every actor I came across on Chernobyl was just going, oh my God, this script's amazing. I really felt it was something. And, uh, and I remember when I read the script uh, for the audition, I was like, oh my God, this is just, it was such a r absolutely riveting, uh, obviously because of the horrendous subject matter, but the way it was, the way it was put together and the way you looked at this accident from f so many different points of view, but always from the human angle. And I think that, that was its strength. The science is strong, but a test is only as good 
as the men carrying it out. And the first time they tried, they failed. The second time they tried, they failed. The third time they tried, they failed. And the fourth time they tried was April 26, 1986. With, with Chernobyl, we were, we were lucky enough to, uh, by the production company, they, they gave us access to, um, to a massive archive of documents, uh, documentaries, uh, you know, various, any footage, you know, was dug up about, about Chernobyl. So, so really I sat at home and <laughs> kind of uh, looked at various documentaries and um, there wasn't a great deal that I could first personally find about Famine, who I played. Um, but just to soak up the whole thing and and also the, the 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 context of what was happening in the Soviet era in '86. I mean, was uh, well, he if he was here now, he'd probably disagree with me. But you know, he 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 was. I think he was a regular guy in an important job, and. Um, he, he wanted desperately to, to please. That's the way I approached it anyway. Um, and, and, and was happy just to toe the line, hopefully get the odd promotion. Apparently, I thought it was very interesting that he got his um, nuclear physics degree by correspondence. So he didn't even go to university. And, uh, you know, which I think says something about the lack of thoroughness about what what contributed towards the accident, um, but it was it was one of those. And also, when 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 you start soaking up some of the research, and then you get the costume on, <laughs> and then you see everybody else, you really feel like you're there, yeah. you know, as mu as much as you possibly can. Um, and and it was it was just a wonderful script. And, and uh, Johan, the director, was, uh, it was ju uh, just a diamond of a job. Usually the, the, the main difference, I think, is, and not always, but with a film, there's usually a bit more money that's gone into it, and therefore you may have the luxury of a bit more time. That can also happen with TV in, in, in Chernobyl, you know, we, we I think we had that luxury. It's not always the case. It's not always the case because I, I love it when directors, you know, insist and make make the space to 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 explore and uh, um, yeah. Because sometimes you you know you'll do something <clears throat> and you'll go, I think it was all right, and then then you you get you get back and you just go, oh no, I should have done. Ah, oh, that would have been really. And, and it's gone, but you, you, you've you got to let it go anyway. To get into acting. <laughs> um, well, I think, I think my advice f for them would be the same for anybody, really, is, is if you've got a passion, follow it. Life's short, if you've got a passion, follow it. Now, how to follow it, if you want a career as an actor, that's, that's not so simple, I think. But I would say get involved uh, because that breeds its own momentum. Well, you can. You can sit around waiting for stuff to happen. But, but make, do something. Get out there. Just work. You know, even if it's just getting mates together and working, doing a play, whatever. It's good. It all feeds the fire. You know, you're constantly getting rejected. So you have to be stupidly passionate. Uh, to, to keep picking yourself up and keep going. So, um, yeah, anything that can fuel that furnace <laughs> is good. <laughs> <laughs>